What is going on? My name is Ario D. Juice from Juicy Tech YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification, comment, like, and share. And um, also, this um, episode is sponsored by Course Careers, which is an online um, training program which has helped many people, including myself, um, land a job in tech. So um, jobs ranging from, you know, software engineering, data analysts, um, sales, management, software engineering. Um, I, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but I'm doing IT support technician right now. That's my job title. And um, yeah, um, I was able to obtain these jobs, different jobs um, as a contractor um, by um, taking a course from Course Career. So um, these jobs are paying between 50000 to six figures plus. So if you're interested, more more, more information down below about Course Careers. Let's talk. So um, listen, I've done... A lot of these videos, oh, excuse me, uh, I've done a lot of videos in terms of speaking of my experience as a IT person um, in 2024. And uh, what, what I want to talk about is basically how a lot of people have been leaving me comments throughout social media, my LinkedIn, um, my, I, my IG account, which is Instagram, of course, YouTube. Um, a lot of these comments are um, basically the uh, like these are common questions I get, which is is going to school or taking a course like a course from course careers, a um, a a coding boot camp. Is it worth their time and investments? And um, if, if you hear some noise in the background, I'm in my building. Uh, this is our conference room. But um, there's people at at the pool area, the club room. It's 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 Memorial Day weekend. People are just partying. So if you hear any commotion in the background, that's what's going on. So please forgive that. Uh, but yeah, so um, I get I get you know questions like this all the time. Um, is it is it worth your 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 time and money? And um, it, it really just depends on what you're trying to do, right? Um, I, I very much I would very much encourage someone that's brand new to this in terms of IT. Maybe a developer. Uh, me, me personally, I would I would focus more on trying to learn the fundamentals of that job title. Um, but for, but first thing first, people are always saying tech, and that's just a that's that's such a broad term. And you know, when I, when I'm hearing that, I, I really want to tell the person what exactly would you like to do in tech, right? Uh, what what job title? I'm always hearing cybersecurity, which is great, right? Which is awesome, but that's also another broad term as well. Um, what specific job title are you looking to get into? And it, it all depends on, you know, if you're a beginner, if you're in intermediate experience, what do you want to do, right? So that's something you have to really figure out first before even spending a dime on anything. What do you want to do? So if it's, for example, if someone's looking to get into cybersecurity, um, you know, what job title? There's different job, job titles. Um, for someone that's a beginner, right, in cybersecurity, I encourage you to, especially in, in this job market where it's very, just a weird market in terms of who's hiring. You know, of course, like a, a, there's a lot of layoffs going on right now. Um, I'm hearing from a lot of people. It's hard to land a job in in whatever field, logistics, tech, hospitality. It's 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 everywhere. But um, we'll we'll just we'll we'll, we'll we'll just focus on on tech in this video. So people are looking for the most highest paid jobs, right? And that's great. I I very much encourage that. I I do. But at the same time, I think while you're looking for the the most highest paid job. It's 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 best to keep in mind that entry level jobs are hiring in cybersecurity, right? And these entry level jobs, believe it or not, are jobs like help desk. It is, or a IT support technician. That's what I'm doing. Um, of course, you have a, a, a tier one to a tier three IT support technician, right? But my whole point is, there's so many jobs on these different you know, platforms like LinkedIn or Indeed uh, 
that have so many entry level jobs available. So what I'm trying to say is, yes, go after the high pay, the highest paid job. You may get lucky and land one. Who knows? But also, don't sleep, which means don't um, like don't don't apply to the to the entry level jobs because they're entry level. I would still encourage you to apply to these jobs because they're hiring, and for a lot of people who are new to this, who are beginners, I would encourage you to apply for their for the entry level jobs in cybersecurity. Again, those jobs are help desk jobs, and um, it, it's it's kind of weird because people tend to look down on these jobs. Because they're entry level, but this is a great start to your career because it's 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 entry level. You're you're going to learn so much on the job, which you should, to obviously grow in your career, right? But you have to start somewhere, and that's how I look at it. So everybody wants the highest paid job, which is awesome. I don't blame you. Um, go for it, but still apply to the entry level jobs too. Now these uh again these uh just there's so many employers that are hiring for these entry level jobs. So I say go for it. it uh, the, that's just the thing is you'll just never know uh how should I put it, especially for someone that's a beginner. You are going to learn so much on the job. You're going to meet a lot of different people who are going to give you tips and advice. What course not course, I'm sorry, what certificate to maybe take maybe you haven't you know passed comp to a yet um or network or or security maybe cisco as well um you're just going to meet a lot of people that are going to just just naturally just want to help you by giving you information so i say go for it. again the the entry-level jobs are a great start they're hiring um I mean, this just just it's almost endless the amount of entry level jobs that I've seen um, today on LinkedIn and in and Indeed. I'm sure other platforms like Monster and um, you know uh, other you know uh, platforms where, um, where 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 employees are posting these job openings. But yeah, it's um it's so many entry level jobs right now, and also not just entry level, but you know. Uh, Really, really high paying, you know, tech jobs as well. In whatever field that you not feel, but in whatever job title you're looking to do, um, apply to them. Apply to them all. Like you just never know. But maybe this video is really for the person that's a beginner, than someone that's really that has years under their belt of being in cybersecurity. So if you're a beginner, um, start applying. Start applying to a lot of entry level jobs. I know we all want the highest paid job, which is smart move. You know, that's just something smart to do to want to get the highest paying job. Why not? It makes sense. But at the same time, uh, entry level is a great start for a lot of you. You know, do not sleep on help desk. Do not sleep on IT support technician. Um, I, I very much do believe these are entry level cybersecurity jobs. I mean, again, you got your tier one, tier two tier three is endless so go for it i mean go for it there's so much opportunity it's not even funny um yeah um i just had to put this video out because i just i just went on indeed and linkedin and again i already have a job but i get i get contacted every week by some recruiter right um a lot of times these are contract roles but I, the point is I'm always getting contacted by these people and I'm going to keep my resume up on LinkedIn uh, because it's really interesting to see how much opportunity is, is available. Um, it's, 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 it's really incredible. Now, please keep in mind this also. If, if, you're, if you're looking to apply to these jobs, at least have the skills ready right, for the employer that's looking for those requirements, right? So if you don't have the skills or the experience and you're looking to join or get into IT, help desk or cybersecurity or even software engineering, um, if you don't have the experience, if you don't have years under your belt, at least obtain the skills. And this is, again, um, a video sponsored by Course Careers. 
um, I very much encourage you to uh, check this um, training program out, Course Careers. And the reason why I'm so big on promoting them, not because it helped me so much, but it worked for other people. Um, so many people landed jobs at the course careers. I'm not, it's not guaranteed. God, I don't want to put that out. Like it's guaranteed you're gonna find a job. There's no guarantees for anything, right? But I very much love the curriculum they have. It's so up to date. It's it's modern, it's easy to pick up, it's 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 remote, right? You can work from your home and study from home. You don't have to drive anywhere. Um, but but I'm just really big on how but I'll just speak on the IT course that I took. I love how it's so up to date. It's very easy to understand. And these and this is going to wait for you to, uh, to obtain um, the skills that you're looking, that you need to obtain these or, 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 or to land these tech jobs such as help desk, IT help desk, IT support technician. It's all the same thing. Um, the skills really matter a lot. So yeah, course careers does a great job when it comes to that alone. I don't know about the other courses, sales and management. I really can't speak on that. I didn't take the course. But from my experience taking the IT course, I very much could see the other courses that they have available also up to date, very understandable and you no know, inf- information. Like I'm a huge fan of it. So um again, man, back to the IT jobs. Entry level jobs or hiring, there's just so much, just so much available. It's crazy, and um, I I see this from just me being contacted by actual recruiters or a hiring manager for a company, um, asking me if I'm if I'm if I'm if I'm working right now. Um, uh, and um, yeah, it's 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 really incredible to see that much opportunity is available right now in IT support technician. So that's really all I can speak on right now because that's what I do. But um yeah, I just very much had to put this video out for the information. Um and if you're if you have any questions, obviously I'm here to assist in any way possible. Uh, but before spending a dime on anything, I, I I beg you, please teach yourself all the one oh ones about whatever job title you're looking to get into. It doesn't even have, it doesn't even have to be tech. Just know what you want to do first, right? Find out what actual job title you want to do and learn the skills for that job title right and um and 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 learn what technologies you need to understand to perform that job so again for for example if it's something in the IT help desk understand what is azure microsoft azure how to really use that um when it comes to how to, when it comes to how to manage the users or the employees for that employer cuz that's what i use a lot. I've been seeing lately a lot of companies that have been leaving, not leaving, but they're, they're using Azure more to manage their devices, their users, reset passwords. It's it's incredible. But um, yeah, just learn the technology that you need to, that that job title needs to know, or um, maybe that job title, what, what it, it requires to perform that job title, right? Learn the technologies first um, by teaching yourself this. And if you're ready to to advance, then take a course or go to school or boot camp. But teach yourself first. Don't spend any money on anything. Teach yourself everything um, that you need to learn on your own, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, let me get up out of here. Uh, let me go hang out with my wife. It's Sunday. It's Memorial Day weekend. People are having fun. They're at the pool doing some fun stuff. And um, hope you have an awesome day. Much love to you. And, uh, yeah, catch you in the next video. Peace out.